Okay, all right. In the previous slide, uh, we saw how the softmax was computed. So now we see how the uh, difference is uh, computed uh, through the matrix form, and then see how that uh, difference is uh, in the target versus the computed value is taken uh, through the uh, uh, computations of uh, our weights in the embedding as well as uh, as the uh, context layers, right? Okay, so let me uh, redraw that uh, one more time. So I'm going to be uh, using V love NLP and okay. So we'll just first get the target value, the target value we are going to be, this is what we have used as the uh, context. So, the target is going to be this, right. So, this value should be equal to 1 in the real situation. Okay. So, this is our target and then through softmax uh, we have some values associated with each of these okay so now what we do is we have to find the uh, difference in the so we need to find the difference between the target and the predicted value so this is our error right so, error is also going to have the same size as the target and the predicted value. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 value. Okay. So, now uh, having computed the error, uh, we have to update the context weight first, right. So, how do you uh, get the uh, difference in the context weight just taking the value as we have computed earlier. So, we have to do this. So, we take uh, let me add some space here. So, this is our h right and this is of size 10 by 1 correct. So, when you compute this what you are going to have is the error that you want to propagate for context weight. Right? So, when you do that you get another matrix of size 6 by 10. Right? So, and this is what you are going to be using to really update the context weight that you have. So, we are starting remember uh, we have error first and then from there based on the error we are going to update the context weight and then again based on the error we are going to uh, compute the embedded weights. Okay. So, this keeps going until the error reaches a minimum value. Correct. So, that is what is our uh, back propagation approach. So, we do the back propagation, do the forward pass and then keep going and uh, going and going okay, until this becomes small. All right. So, in the matrix form how do you really get this? So, this is my let I am going to only write for the context uh, matrix. Okay. Uh, this is our old one. And now we have the difference. So, to get the new one, so what we do is we have Wij new equal to. So, we have the Wij old okay, minus you have a learning parameter 
and then the difference that you have here right your e dot h. So, once you do this now you have updated the context weight correct and then taking the uh, error back to the uh, embedding layer uh, we can update the embedding layer weights in the same fashion. Okay. So, once it is updated so you keep going back and forth until uh, he becomes small. I keep repeating this so that you know it gets into the minds uh, clearly. Okay. So, for many people you know the equations are uh, good enough to understand this for some folks matrix operations you know in this form that I have shown is uh, good enough for others uh, the programs are important. If you show them through the uh, typical computer program either in C or Python they grasp it lot better. So, in I am going to be giving the second third flavor as well in this uh, exercise after this. Okay. I hope you understand this right. So, this is a very simple uh, operation that you perform to identify uh, the uh, embedding uh, layer weight and also finding what exactly is the target that you are looking for. The only uh, problem with this is when the size of the vocabulary increases the size of these matrices are going to increase and it is only a computational problem 